Hey guys, you're watching Matt the Musketeer, and today I'm playing a little bit of close quarters running around with the PDWR. Now this is a weapon that I hardly ever use in Battlefield 3. It is one of the few submachine guns that you can use across all of the classes in the game. But normally when I want to use this style weapon I either go for the PP2000 or the P90. So this is a weapon that I have normally left at the wayside. But for this gameplay I thought I'd bust it out a little bit. And as you can see I do start off using the iron sights and eventually I do unlock the red dot sight. So that kind of proves just how little I have used this gun in the game. But I do enjoy it, I do quite well with this weapon, so I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Now it is the weekend, so I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. By the time you're probably watching this video, I'll be probably reinstalling Windows. It's a very exciting task to do over the weekend, I know. I did buy a new solid state drive, all towards part of my preparing for Battlefield 4, which is something that I talked about in my previous video. My preparation for that is getting myself a new solid state drive, so I can reinstall my OS on it, and then put all my Battlefield games on my previous solid state drive. So that's my weekend, very exciting I know. But today I want to talk to you guys about two subjects that were left to me in the comment sections of my previous videos. And the first one does lead on to the second. Now to begin with, someone left me a comment saying they really enjoyed my content because I try to listen to you guys and I do respond to the ideas that you leave me in the comment section of my videos. Now that did make me smile because I do listen to you guys, I try and respond to your ideas and if you guys do genuinely have good ideas, I do try and put them in videos and you know, give them a topic and a discussion because that's the kind of thing I want to do. So if you guys ever have ideas that you think are really good ideas and should see the light of day, Never feel that you can't leave me your ideas in the comment section below and maybe I will get round to making a video about them. So this leads me on to the topic of the day. Now on my previous Battlefield for the wishlist video, I did receive a comment from one of my subscribers suggesting maybe they should bring a fifth class into Battlefield 4 to try and nerf out and balance the classes that little bit more and stop the medic class from being so overpowered. So I went away and thought about the idea that if there was going to be a fifth class in Battlefield 4, what kind of class would I like to see? What kind of setup would I like to see for that class? Now before I give you my ideas, once again in the comment section below, I want to hear from you. If you had the chance to have a fifth class in Battlefield 4, what kind of setup would you like to see? So, whilst I've been thinking about this idea, I'd actually been watching a few documentaries on the military, and it made me realise there is actually a class missing from the battlefield setup, and that is the Special Operations class, or the Spec Ops class, and that's things like the Russian Spetsnaz, the US Navy SEALs, the British SAS, the British Royal Marines, and these are troops that are specially trained to go in hard, go in fast, go in aggressive, take out the enemy as quickly as possible before the regular army moves in behind them. Now in Battlefield 3, we don't have this equivalent class, which is why we get the assault class running in with their M16s and their AEKs, bunny hopping about the place, trying to be as aggressive as possible. Now the issue with this is they're also the medics. So in real combat you do not get medics on the front line being as aggressive as possible. The whole point in a medic is they hang back and they try and save other soldiers. One dead medic is the same as ten dead men. If the medic's gone, the soldiers can't be saved. So in real combat you wouldn't get this setup of having aggressive medics on the battlefield. So I thought about the idea of creating a fifth class, a special operations class, that would split the medic class in half, or the current Battlefield 3 assault class. Now this fast paced, aggressive special operations class would actually take a lot of its specialisations from classes that already exist in Battlefield 3. Now it would use the weapons of the assault class already, things like the M16, the AEK, all of the semi-automatic and fully automatic assault rifles that we already see in Battlefield 3. But it would also use some of the specialisations we see in other classes such as a recon class, which would allow the recon class to go back to its original setup as we saw in Bad Company 2. A setup that I do know a lot of people prefer over Battlefield 3. So not only would it be using very aggressive, fully automatic, medium to long range assault rifles, it would also have abilities such as a spawn beacon, which means it could run up quickly into enemy positions, get those spawn beacons down and be aggressive as possible. Now the advantage of creating a class like this would mean it actually would split the responsibilities of the current assault class, which is one of the reasons I think it is so overpowered. Not only do players have the ability to run in and be very aggressive with high powered assault rifles, they also have the responsibility of reviving and putting down medic packs for other players, which allows them to gain lots of points. 
So by splitting this class in half and having a very defined medic class and a very defined assault special operations class, I think you could create two very well working classes. Now, the question you ask is, well if the new special operations class is using all of the assault rifles, what kind of weapons would the medic class use? Well, I think to try and even out the classes even more, I think the medic class should pretty much be a mirrored class of the engineer class, but with different specializations. So it should use things like PDWs, some machine guns and shotguns. So those two classes are very evenly based, but their roles in the game are very different. So these are just my ideas of trying to balance out the assault class in Battlefield 4, taking its responsibilities and splitting them into two newly well-defined classes, the medic class and the special operations assault class. But these are just my ideas guys, in the comment section below I want to hear from you. If you had the option to have a fifth class in Battlefield 4, what kind of setup would you want to see? But in the meantime guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.